All right, this is the Banking Day 1 video. There's going to be two, uh, so make sure you uh, stop and uh, watch the other one. All right, so the type of things that we're going to be talking about in this video is the type of savings accounts, but most importantly, we're going to be focusing in the simple interest formula. All right, so there's going to be a couple of questions in which you're going to have to use the simple interest formula, and that's where the majority of where we're going with this. All right, let's get started. All right, so very uh, quickly, just a, a brief history between a bank and a credit union. A bank is a financial institution that accepts deposits from the public and creates credit. Uh, banks have customers and do not make profits. So, I'm sorry, they do make profits. So, the thing that, when you get a little older, you could have a choice into going into a traditional bank or a credit union. Uh, the main difference between a bank and credit union is that a bank is more of kind of like a business and a credit union is as well but it's what is more of a like uh, non-profit organizations so like for example banks have customers but credit unions have members okay so what happens is when a credit union makes money because they do make money but rather than writing it off as a profit what they do is they take their money and then they go back and it's and invest it more into the members in the sense of maybe a lower interest rate. Um, like I said, for the example right here, so an interest rate on a mortgage could be a little higher at a bank because banks are profit-driven, whereas credit unions are non-profit, so they could advertise lower. So what that means is the money that credit unions make, they then go and uh, create maybe lower interest rates, which actually saves money for the actual members. All right, and you have to, and again, you just can't go, and lastly, I'll talk about this and then we'll be done. You can't go to a credit union and say, hey, I'm here's my money, I want to be a member. There's an actually a, an application process that you have to go through. All right, so it isn't one of those, it's not like joining a gym. Um, you have to actually, you know, show that, you know, you have good financial standing and you have to be accepted, so to speak. All right, so... The basic savings accounts that you're going to run into is, first off, like high school students, there's, they're more likely to have what is called like a basic savings account where, I mean, very simply, it's basic. You know, you deposit money and then you can take money out. Um, of course, you might say, why would you want to put money in a savings account as opposed to up underneath your mattress at home? Well, keeping your money in a bank is a safe way to keep your money. And also, you can make a little bit of money off when it comes to the interest rate. Now the interest rate could be like super small. So like, let's say for example, if you have, you know, and again, I'm just kind of making up these numbers here. Let's say if you have like a thousand dollars in the savings account, well, the interest that you draw on that could be very, very minimal to where like, oh, okay, it's, it's $1 and 10 cents of interest. All right. Very, very minimal. Okay. So it's not like you're going to be rich off of the interest rate of having a, a, only a thousand dollars. I mean, it's little, but you then get make a little money. That's basically where I'm going with this. Now, a money market account is similar to a savings account. You can still deposit, but sometimes you are limited with how many times you can withdraw. Okay, so like for example, um, like a savings account, you could take money out pretty much every day. With a money market account, you might have like maybe. Uh, three withdrawals max, meaning you can't take more than three uh, three times you can take money out of your money market account. Okay, so again, it's different rules uh, for money market account and basic savings. Um, the thing is, you do have a higher interest rate than a savings account. So again, going back to the whole $1,000. Now, the interest rate most like, I mean, most people will tell you that the interest rate off of a savings and a base and a money market account is not going to make you a millionaire. Okay. So, I mean, don't get your hopes up when it comes to this stuff. But like if you had, you know, like maybe a thousand dollars in the money market account, maybe you can draw $3 through interest. So, all right. A uh, CD, uh, CD is a person agrees to leave a certain amount of money on deposit for a certain amount of time. A lot of times, again, with the CD, um, it's like maybe for like a year or five years. So let's say, for example, you're like, you know what? I want to put $5,000 $5, in a CD. The thing is you can't touch it, meaning once you deposit $5,000, it's locked into a certain amount of time, whether that's one year, three years, five years, ten years. But you can't mess with it. Now, you might be saying, well, why would I want to do that? Well, 
it's a, a higher interest rate. So more, I don't want to say it's risky, but it, the more limitations you have on your money, usually you're rewarded in a higher interest rate. Now, I don't necessarily know what the percentage is on uh, CDs, but they're typically a lot higher. So um, I can't really give you an example uh, in good conscience on this. And lastly, automatic savings plans. This is a good way, especially if you have someone who doesn't really save money you know, doesn't really have a lot of uh, uh, saving uh, tendencies. They like to spend everything they get. You can have what is called a personal savings account where basically what that means or automatic savings where um, a certain amount of money is deposited into a savings account every month or every time you get a paycheck. So if you set it up to where, you know, $200 gets put into your savings account every single time you get a paycheck, that's just a good way to save. All right. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. This is the simple interest formula that you're going to be using today. All right, so we will come back to this, but uh, you might want to pause the video so you can write what everything stands for, but uh, we're just going to keep moseying on. All right, so just a general question here. Grace wants to deposit $5,000 in a CD, uh, certificate deposit CD, for a period of two years. She's comparing interest rates from three local by three local banks and one bank online. All right, so what interest rates? All right, so very simple. You're just, you're just comparing. You know, first off, we have some fractions here. Let's go ahead and convert these to decimals. So four and a fourth would be 4.25%. Four and three eighths is going to be a repeating decimal. So we're just, I, I don't think it is actually 375. Sorry, I thought it was a repeater. My bad. So from here, what would be the best bank to go with? Uh, ESA Bank would be number one because that's the highest interest rate. Remember, the higher the interest rate is, the more money you make. That would be two. Third place would be First John, and then Johnson will be four. Right, pretty simple. All right, example number two. Ra Raul's savings account mu uh, must have at least $500 or he is charged a $4 fee. His balance was $716.23, and he withdrew $225. What's his balance? All right, so let's see. Let's do some math here. 71623 is what his balance was. Balance means how much money he had at the time. He took away 225. And I believe we are going to be under 500. Let's see, 71623 minus 225. Yep. We are at 491.23. Uh oh. That is a violation of his bank because his bank says you drop below $500, you're going to be charged. Four bucks. I said, no, no. All right, so that means the bank is going to pen, penalize this person by $4. So now he has $487.23. So the thing about a bank is if you don't get that fixed, they will keep pulling $4 from Raul pretty much every month. All right, so that's something that they can do and will do if it's not fixed. All right, so here we go. Mitchell drops... Twelve hundred or deposit, sorry, one thousand two hundred in an account that pays four point five. Okay, here's the buzzword: simple interest. All right, so whenever you see the that word or sent words simple interest, it is going to be the simple interest formula. This guy. All right, so those are words that you need to familiarize yourself with. Okay, so simple interest formula. I'll just write it right here. I is equal to PRT. He will keep the money in the account for three years without any deposits. All right, so based off of what I see here, P is the principal, and that'll be $1,200. Uh, R is the rate, which we always use it in decimal format, 0 0.45. And then lastly, T is the years, three years. All right, so it's going to be I is equal to 1200 times 0 0.045 times 3. How much interest, how much money did he make on top of his money? Well, he made $162. Now, the question, this is a sneaky little question right off the bat because it says, how much is in the account? Okay, so what that means is we it started off with $1,200 in the account and he made $162. So we're going to have to add that back. Some students don't see that. Sometimes they just say, oh, it was 162, and they move on to the next question. So 1,200 plus the 162 that he made in interest, he now has 
I guess I'll use the money sign, $1,362. All right. Example number four, how much simple interest does 12? All right, so again, word association, simple interest. Okay. Now, this one's a tricky one. So we're still going to use our I is equal to PR, PRT formula. All right, so from here, let's see, our principal, how much money we're starting with is two grand. All right, our rate is going to be 0 0.05. Now, here's the interesting thing about our time. The time is always in years, okay? But here's what a lot of students are going to say. A lot of students are going to say, oh, it's seven. But if you look in the question, it's actually seven months. So we've got to convert seven months to years, all right? So the best way we can do that is to use seven over 12. Because seven over 12 represents seven months of a year okay this is the way to get the most accurate answer okay so your time will actually be in the form of a fraction so i is equal to 2000 times 0 0.05 times our years because we never had a full year it's a fraction of a year so we're going to leave it like that the interest ends up being 58 dollars and 33 cents and the question is how much simple interest so we're going to leave it at 58.33 now if the question asked what is the new balance then you would add it back but it's not asking for the balance it's asking for the interest <clears throat> all right so how much principal must be deposited to earn a thousand dollars simple interest all right so for this question <coughs> excuse me it's again we're using the simple interest formula but we're actually working backwards so i is equal to P, R, T. All right. So now we're looking at how much interest. Okay, so we know that. Let's see here. All right. So we're looking for P. So P is going to be our question mark. We don't know. But we know what our R is. R is going to be, that's the easy 1.05. Time, it's already in years, which is two years. We don't have to use a fraction. But it gives us this 1,000. And that's going to be what my I is because we're looking for what P is, and it says it earns a thousand dollars. So one thousand is equal to the unknown P times 0.05 times two. All right. Now that might be a little confusing, so let's actually write it. Well, let, let's combine some things and write it in a way that we're used to writing. All right, so I'm going to take 0.05 times 2, and I'm going to rework that variable P just to make it to where it's more user-friendly. So 0.05 times 2, I should know this off the top of my head. Good. I don't know what I was thinking of something. It would be 0.1 P. Okay, 0.1 P. So I divide by 0.1. My answer is going to be... 10,000 is equal to P. All right. Pretty, pretty simple. All right. Derek has an account that pays 4.1 simple interest. Oh, simple interest again. I'll give you a hint. Pretty much everything is going to be simple interest, but it's good practice. The balance, oh, here we go. It says the balance is 910. When will the account grow to 1,000? Okay, so it started at 910. We want to know when it'll grow to 1,000. All right, so this is a little tricky one here. All right, so what we're looking for, we want to know when it's going to grow. So that means the T is going to be unknown. All right. All right, so it started at 910. So that's our principal, okay? The rate is going to be 0 0.041, okay? Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. The I is actually going to be 90. And the reason why the I is going to be 90 is because, notice, it started at 910, but then it stopped at 1,000. So that is an increase of 90, which means that is what our interest would be. So 90 is equal to 910 times 0 0.041 times T. Okay. So when I do the math, it'll be 90 is equal to 910 times 0.41 is 
36.4 T, and then I divide by 36.4 T, and it ends up being 2.5 years. That's what T is equal to. All right. All right, so Carrie invests uh, 5000 in a simple interest account for five years. What interest rate must... Okay, so now we're looking for interest rate. All right, so again, I equals PRT. All right, so she invests 5000 so that's going to be what P is because that's what we always start with, 5000 Uh, All right, so the, we're looking for the rate. So the rate is going to be our question mark today or for this question. The time ends up being five years, but this is just like that question number six. The interest I would actually be 1,000. Because again, notice that we started the question with 5,000, now we're at 6,000. All right, so that's gonna be 1,000 is equal to 5,000 times R times T, which is five years. All right, so I'm going to multiply 5,000 times 5, make it a little easier here. So that's going to be 1,000 is equal to 25,000R. And then when I divide all that out, I believe, yep, it's going to be 0 0.04 is equal to R, which when I convert that back to a percentage, it'll be 4%. Four percent. There we go. All right. All right. So just to finish up this worksheet, I'm just going to kind of bounce around a little bit. Uh, question number two: Josh has the savings account at a at a bank and charges ten dollars for every month. His balance fl falls between or oh, below a thousand. His account has a balance of one thousand to oh, you can read it. He withdraws three hundred. And here we go. He did not mess with it for six months. All right, so we're at 1203.44. We're minus $300. That's going to put us definitely below 1000 but he hadn't touched it for six months. So that's six months of $10 that he is being penalized. So that's an additional 60 bucks. How much is in his account now? 843 Remember, they are going to keep draining it until it is gone. All right. Uh, question number three, simple interest. Again, we're kind of repeating ourselves at this point. So I equals PRT, looking at the problem. Fine. All right. So principal is 2350. R is going to be 0 0.0477. And then T is going to be six years. I'm going to let you guys plug all that in. The answer is $672.57. Okay. Now, if the question says, what is the principal? I'm sorry, what is the balance? Sorry. If the question said, what is the balance? Then you would take the interest earned and add it back to the principal. Okay. So again, just kind of keep in mind where, but this one said, find simple interest. But if it said not find simple interest, find the balance, then you would add it back. That's a B. All right. Question number four. All right. So this is another tricky one. 17 months. All right, so the, again, the principal, what we started off with is 25.60. The, okay, the rate, okay, that's a one, five and one eighth. So, all right, so the rate is going to be 0 0.05125. And then, okay, so the time, again, whenever it gives you months, express it as a fraction, 17 over 12. Okay. And then you'd multiply all that together, and your answer is going to be $185.87. All right. All right, so we're going to leave it right there. Kind of a longer video than normal, so I apologize for that. Hopefully, uh, this gives you at least a good starting point of where we're going. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.